All right, this is uh, what I think could be the coolest thing I've seen at any golf show so far. In your life? In my life, yes. yes that's and being a Mac wow. geek that I am and a golf freak, this just crosses over into two worlds that I love. And uh, my buddy Clayton is going to explain the golf flyover, which is for the iPhone. That's correct. And uh, basically it turns your iPhone into a golf GPS, but with many more features than a standard GPS. That's right. Not to get complicated, we're all about simplicity. The first thing the app does very well is you open it up if you're on the golf course, bam, you're going to get your yardage. So if you want to go beyond that, you can just put it away at that point, put your iPhone away, hit your shot, keep going on that way. We support over 12,000 courses, so you're almost guaranteed actually to see your yardage when you open it up. And yeah, you know, one step process. You can fly over the course, you can see the course layout and Google Maps satellite imagery. You can use our tool that has a built in slope brake meter. And um, after which would round, be illegal. It's of course in tournament play. Yeah, only right. <laughs> only if you're uh, training yourself. That's right. Practice round. Green, right. Yeah. Um, and beyond that, if after the round you want to go, you know, pull up the website and see 3D views of our golf courses, you can do that. We use Google Earth technology to display some amazing fly-throughs, video tours through the golf. Do you courses. have the ability to show me? I don't know how good the video quality would work, but can we see uh, the the slope thing? I like I seeing can, that. I can. And I'll, uh, can we maybe see a little bit of uh, the app in action? Uh, Posi Motion has many apps. Level is another one of its our most popular paid app. We took the concept from a level, as you can see there, applied it to golf flyover, and just skinned the theme for golf. It, it shows how quickly we can adapt to different markets. And uh, after this initializes here, um, I'll let that now screen for, for load. People which who is, don't know about the, the the new iPhone, especially, right? Uh, the new iPhone has what's called a location. That's correct. And the location, um, it'll t it'll just find out where you are via the GPS. That's right, via GPS so, or cellular tower networks. But the cellular isn't as accurate. Uh, no, 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 it's not. No. And Wi-Fi. You can also use Wi-Fi. Can be just as accurate as GPS. Because Wi-Fi is like your home network, and that home network's mapped to your house, your home okay. address essentially. So you can use that. Um, but really, this this app right here, this feature, the first thing when you do when you open the app, if you're not on a golf course, it'll give you a listing of your nearby golf courses. Right, and via so, the location. Right, right, say, and that's so what you, you can want to golf, and it'll it'll say, hey, here's yeah, the closest. Yeah, there you go. Course. So if you don't have a 3G phone, you can still benefit from this app. Sure. Twofold. Okay. This 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 screen right here, which will allow you to hit location, which drops you into Google Maps, and you can get directions there. Or you can choose the flyover, which loads our satellite uh, overhead view at the course layout. Okay. All right. Um, for the original iPhone users, it, after they found their course, the next step they would want to do is go to the slope meter, which we were talking relates to the whole our a level app. I'm going to have to come down here and show you that what you would do is put this on the green, and it would show you whether the you know the putt's uphill and whether it's going to break to the left. You know, and right here you got a nice digital readout besides the big visual. You know, probably not. My camera's probably not focusing terribly well, but that gives you the idea. Yeah, okay. But you can read the you could read the break. That's right. You can read the break. That's so cool. And it's kind of just a fun thing to even play with. And, yeah, just to know. see if you can hold your hands. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, so um, I'll show you a quick shot here also of the flyover. Bali High is very close to us here. So if I hit flyover, actually I think we're in the middle of an update here. I may have hit uh, the button a little fast. We got to reload here real quickly our selected course. We probably would have. We can pop. Up. That up. Right All right, so fly over for Bali High. And what we're doing right now is uh, we're uh, loading up the course layout, all 18 holes, with a zoom view to the green for each So hole. you don't, you'd only have to do this at the beginning of the round? Yeah, you only have to do this at the beginning of the round. And actually, it's not like other apps where you actually have to download a new course or, you know, take time to calibrate or whatever. But actually, any of our supported courses of the over 12,000, which will eventually be every course in the world will be here. Fourteen ninety nine. You download it. You got them all. You know, one time deal. You don't have to pay extra for maps and all that stuff. No, nope, no. Nope. It's just really simple, you know. And here you go. Here's the page uh, that loads up and shows you the course layout of Bali High. Here, you probably can't see it very well in okay. this video, but you know, it is 
a little difficult there. Um, perhaps I can just show real quickly. You got this I'm feature get back here. a little bit because I think maybe that's just too close. Okay. All right. So you can pick a hole and you can do a flyover. That's right. You can you can take hole five basically or any other one, and we actually have the, the yardages pre-plotted. Here it's updating, bam, there you go. Hole five drops down there, it's a 387-yard. Uh, we don't have the par in there yet, but it's we will. Be but a par four, it's obviously a par four, yes. right? Uh, any golfer would pretty much know that. But um, So, you know, I'll show you one more feature is, you know, zoom into that number five green. And so, you know, you can use the drop-down selector to get right to the green view and see what's up. Here we got some water over here, some bunkers. Um, there you have it, you know, not not just your yardage, you know, the view of the course, the lay of the land to help you play your game better. Now, when did you actually start working on this app? Because, uh, you know, the apps haven't been, or aren't terribly, uh, you know, old. I mean, th this is pretty new technology, so, I mean, how long did it take you to, to do all this? I mean, that's well, amazing. It took us uh, from the iPhone development side about a month really we're very good we're very fast wow. um, Apple's a, uh, SDK and the whole iPhone platform facilitates it you know we're, we definitely appreciate how easy they've made things uh, possible all the different apps that we have available wow. uh, but it only took us about a month you know and we calibrate the courses very using a very simple technique and that's why we can support so many so fast so it's a uh, and if you know, really and if the course, elegant solution. If you find a course that's not in there, they send you an email. They send us an email. And it's up pretty yep. quick. Just go to posimotion.com or golfflyover.com and uh, send us an email. We'll put it in there. 24 to 48 hours, we'll make sure it's oh, in there amazing. for you. So you can enjoy it at your favorite course. You know. Well, uh, I think that's really super cool. And uh, thanks for uh, giving me your time. And, oh, anytime. And, it's a pleasure. Uh, I'm going to be checking it out. I'll be doing a full review on this soon. And, and uh, I look forward to checking it out. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Tony. You're welcome. Appreciate okay. it. Bye-bye.